Can you get laid or? Unsubscribe when he's getting his career. What up YouTube? Ed Weskergriff coming back with a mail day recap video. I hope everyone out there is doing well. I was recently on Alex Bowman 53's live stream for his 50th episode, his 50th live. And I mentioned on the live stream, but I'll mention it here as well on my channel. But I did officially book my trip for the National in Chicago this summer. Really excited about that. Everything is officially booked. So I will be out there Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, won't be there Sunday. I'm going to be leaving very early in the morning on Sunday. But thrilled that the trip is officially booked. Very excited for the show. I can't wait to get out there. Can't wait to meet up with everyone, hang out. There's a bunch of people going that... I've never gotten the chance to meet in person a lot of the Insert Revolution podcast guys, so really, really excited about that. Uh, also, I am on the card side of things. I'm hoping that dealers will definitely be way more buyer-friendly than Atlantic City. I know last year I was dead wrong. I really thought that a lot of the dealers would be very dealer-friendly and be looking to make a lot of sales. But prices were very, very high on the high side on everything. Ultra modern, modern, vintage, pre-war, you name it. Everything was very high. So I'm hoping in Chicago with a lot more dealers, because I was looking at the floor space, it is, it is going to be bigger than it's been the last previous times in Chicago. A lot more space for dealers. So I'm hoping that uh, there will be not good deals only, but great deals only. So can't wait, can't wait. But let's get into the mail. Got some pickups here for the collection. Also got a Just Because care package from Steve, Purple GT22. Have not opened this yet. Looking forward to delving into that. I know Steve sent me a couple messages, uh, but I really, really appreciate that, Steve. I believe he's gonna be out in Chicago as well. Uh, you guys know Steve, Purple GT22. Also, I got a thank you card, a little thank you note from Abel in Vegas. So I'll show this one first. Wrote me a nice little note here. He put, Ed, a Hutton for your Phil's PC. According to this card, Thomas once performed in Las Vegas. I Googled it, but did not find anything. Hashtag Bryson Stott, Abel in Vegas. And he sent me this cool, I think this is one of the uh, top stamps were uh, the throwbacks that are randomly inserted of Tommy Hutton. Old picture there of Veterans Stadium in the background. You can see the vet in the background there. But very, very cool. So I'll throw that in the Z folio. Thanks, Abel, for thinking of me. Thanks for sending that my way. Appreciate the kind words. I know it's been a little while since you've been to the National, so I hope to see you out in Chicago as well. Speaking of Bryson Stott, I know Abel will appreciate this card. Picked this up for the Phil's collection. This is out of 2022 Tops Update. This is the short print rookie of Bryson Stott in a PSA Mint 9. So I was able to snag this for right around 20 bucks. Couldn't pass it up for a short print uh, rookie of Bryson Stott for the Phil's. You know, I did a video a couple, last couple videos ago, how he broke uh, Willie Puddinhead Jones's uh, consecutive hit streak to start the season. Stott's been one of the few very consistent Phillies in the lineup and on the team this year. Um, he might be the all-star representative for the team, but uh, he's been doing quite well. So it's been, it's been fun watching him play. Uh, next. This is for the Soto Collection. Uh, this card, maybe like back in 2021, in a PSA 10, I think was a little bit over $100. 
And my have the times have changed. I was able to snag this from four sharp corners for right around $25 shipped and delivered uh, to my door. Uh, but this is from 2020 Panini Chronicles. This is the mosaic of Juan Soto. So it's the first year. Remember when people were going crazy over that? First year mosaic for Soto. And it's... Uh, has a lot of shine to it, looks really, really nice. But I have a couple of these raw, never sent them in to get graded cause, uh, you know, just waiting for them, waiting for the grading fees to go lower before I send them in. But don't need to send it in now. These cards will go in the Z folio. And uh, because I got the PSA Gem Min 10 now for right around 25 bucks. So really, really happy about that. Beautiful looking card. And sometimes patience really, really, really pays off in this hobby. Like I said, I'm towards the middle and the end of 2021. Uh, I remember seeing sales of this card for a hundred bucks. Just ridiculous, but wild times in the hobby, as we all know. Next, uh, picked this up for the tribute set, or. I'm not really doing the set, but wanted to pick it up because it was a cheap pickup. Uh, if you watched my last video, you know I was talking about the 2012 Topps Tribute autograph cards and how I, they bring a lot of nostalgia to me because I remember at the time here on YouTube in the community, tons of people were just going crazy over Topps Tribute, opening boxes, doing cases, collecting the set, putting the set together, the relic set and the autograph set. And uh, this was a huge hit back in 2012. Uh, this is numbered out of 50. This is the blue, so the team color match of Matt Kemp. Just a really, really awesome card. Real big fan of Matt Kemp. He had a really, really solid career. Not a Hall of Fame career by any means, but he had a really, really solid career for the Dodgers. Uh, also played on the Padres. But got robbed out of being the MVP uh, one of those years by Ryan Braun should have been Matt Kemp uh, Just a real exciting player had a lot of great years for the Dodgers Dodger fans will definitely remember him fondly and uh, he was a huge name uh, In the hobby around that time and this was a really really big hit but um, in 2023 I was able to get this into the collection for right around 20 bucks So really really happy about that color match Matt Kemp Awesome, awesome card there. So happy about that. And the final card here is for the non-sports collection. This will also go in the Z Folio. This is from 2009. This was in a football product. These are the Mayo Cut Plugs. And uh, this was an insert set. I'm not sure who's all in this set. I don't know if it's uh, famous people from history, celebrities, or uh, other sports stars out who are not in football. But this one just caught my eye. This is one of the greatest military generals in United States history, uh, General Sherman. So like a tobacco mini of General Sherman. So just a really, really cool card there. You can see the background, William Tecumseh Sherman, St. Louis under the bottom. And a little synopsis of his military career. American hero, General Sherman. Awesome, awesome card. So, picked up that. Just thought it was neat. And uh, now on to the uh, Just Because package from Steve. Purple GT22. Crack this baby on open. No idea what's inside here. Steve said... Uh, I think he was including some Soto because he sent me a couple text messages asking me about Juan Soto. And lo and behold, we got some Soto in here. So he put Ed just to... Well, let me open this and get the note out. Ed, just a few cards for your PC. Enjoy, brother. I know Soto belonged in your PC after I bought it. Your pal, Steve Finch. Purple GT 22, 523. Filming this on June 1st. 
We got an awesome custom here for the YouTube PC. Steve at Citizens Bank Park with Heather at CBP. That is a great picture. Wearing wearing the wrong uniform. <laughs> but that is really awesome. Nah, just busting your chops, Steve and Heather. Big time Braves fans. That is a really, really nice card there. Great photo. We got some Soto here, stars of the MLB, Juan Soto insert. Wow, this is ridiculous. I don't know what kind of refractor or insert this is, but this is pretty wild. Bryce Harper, this is some kind of purple color blend. I have no idea what they call these, but from Topps Chrome, numbered out of 299, they're at the top. A lot of crazy colors on that. Pretty cool innovation by Topps there. That's very cool. Then we got a Gypsy Queen Blue Refractor. Gypsy Queen Chrome Blue Refractor of Juan Soto. Numbered out of 99. That is awesome. Did not have this. Beautiful, beautiful card, Steve. Great shine on there. That was really cool. Put that next to Joe Strummer and the Smiths. Then we got another Soto from Topps Gallery. This is the blue. So we got some blue shine there. Blue foil. That one's also numbered out of 50. So just blowing up the numbered Soto inserts here. And then to top it off, we got a Bowman's Best die cut. Global Impact numbered out of 50 of Juan Soto. Just absolutely destroying the Soto collection here. And to top it off, we got a 2021 Topps Gypsy Queen Gold Refractor numbered out of 50. This is the Chrome Box Topper numbered out of 50 in a SGC 9 of Juan Soto. So a a, a, a gold Soto Tux. Beautiful, beautiful card. Numbered out of 50. So Steve absolutely annihilating the Juan Soto collection and tossing in a Bryce Harper for good measure. Steve, thank you very, very much, man. We are definitely going to, if you are going to Chicago to the National this year, we are definitely going to have to get a meal at Portobello's with Mark Stokes' family, without a doubt. So that's all I got for you guys. appreciate you watching the video. Go to leave the links down below. Check them out. And see you in Chicago. Peace. Great deals only.